Hey there! Today I'm going to talk about a pen which was recommended to me by someone on YouTube. Now, I get quite a lot of uh, people recommending pens to me. I always look into that and sometimes they're relatively cheap and then usually I'm tempted to get them. And the interesting thing is that I was recommended not just a pen in this case but also uh, a, a new fountain pen shop. And that is new to me. I, I didn't know this one existed. And that was mrpen.co.uk which I think officially uh, the, the company behind that is called PJ Ford. Um, I was very pleased. Pricing was very nice uh, and they have some nice pens. Okay, so today we'll talk about a pen that came in this box. That's just a plain cardboard white wrapper, and you know what I do with that, bin it. Then it came with a nice guarantee slip um, and some instructions on how to fill the pen, even instructions on what type of ink to use. We recommend Diamine Euro, the Waterman cartridge on Mr. Pen cartridges. Okay. Not what I used, but still. Then we have this black box. I like that. It's it's uh, simple, but it's it's refined. It came with one standard international cartridge, which looks like it contains black ink, and it has Mr. Pen in there, including a picture of a guy with one of those coats with the, the tails, uh, which I like. It's it's a nice uh, uh, distinguished logo. The pen is an italics with an X. It's on there, italics with an X. Um, Parsons Essential pen. Now, this pen has some outstanding features. And I love it. I immediately fell in love with it. First of all, if I remember correctly, it's brass. In any case, it's a type of metal, but I thought it was brass which is then covered with a black lacquer and that gives a very nice well I would almost say mirror finish it's it's a very reflective black surface which you can see here as it reflects the light which is very nice um, I like the overall shape of the pen it's very symmetrical and I, I enjoy that so what I'll do is I'll cover the parts of the pen I'll tell you what I like about it what I don't like about it which <laughs> isn't a whole lot uh, and then I'll do a writing sample and that's it. So let's start with the cap. Well the cap is fairly simple, it's rounded off and it has a gold colored clip and the clip is very stiff. It's so stiff that I can hardly get it to move. Now although it's nice to have a clip that will keep a pen in your pocket or a pen pouch, um, I got a shirt, I'll try to, no I just I just can't get it in there. So as far as I'm concerned, it could be a little less tight. Then we get a very nice ring here in gold, which I'm sure you cannot see very well, but it seems to have a type of, of Celtic knot on there or something, which I like. It's a pretty nice design. What I also like is that the cap, you cannot see that very well, but it is engraved. And in the, um, uh, the writing sample, I'll, I'll show you what it actually says. The engraving service was free. I think that's a nice option, and I know that there are more uh, pen shops that offer that, but I think it's a nice touch. It's you know, it's a nice outreach to the um, customers. Now we have the barrel. The barrel says, I, I only just noticed this, I haven't seen it was on there, but in, in very light lettering, which you can hardly read, so it's not distracting at all, it says the italics Parsons Essential. So that's pretty cool. When you unscrew the pen, or the barrel I should say, you see the pen is this nice gold ring which is actually on yeah it's on the barrel I like that and you have the nib the nib is marked with the ominous words iridium point Germany now not all iridium points from Germany are um, they don't all perform as well but I got an italic broad which is marked medium because if I understand correctly Mr. Pen itself grinds down these nibs. Um, so they take a medium nib and then turn it into a broad italic. 
And this is, without doubt, one of the smoothest nibs I've ever used. Even comparing this to pens that cost 10 times as much, it's amazing. Now, it is an italic nib, which means that, for those of you who are unfamiliar with that, usually fountain pen nibs are rounded off, so you have this sort of ball of iridium welded to the, the, the nib, which actually does the writing, it's, it's rounded off. Well, with, with an italic nib, it's flat. So, you, when you go along with that flatness, then you get a fairly fine line, and when you go against it, so it's like this motion versus that motion, this would give you a very broad line of ink. And I like that. I don't have that many italics, but I do like it. The problem with this type of nib is that it has a sweet spot. A round nib will write under a, a, a number of angles. An italic nib really has a sweet spot, and if that touches the paper, it writes, and if it does not touch the paper, it can be it can feel very scratchy. And I notice that with this nib too. The, the angles, uh, sorry, the, the, the corners of the nib are pretty sharp, which means they can actually cut into the paper, but if you hold it correctly, there is no resistance. There is no resistance whatsoever, making this really the smoothest nib, well, wait, okay, one of the absolute smoothest nibs I've ever used. Maybe even the smoothest nib. I'm willing to go that far. So, very impressive. You can post the pen, and then it has a very decent size. You can use the pen unposted, and then it has a decent size. I mean, it's not the biggest pen in the world, but it's definitely not the smallest one. Um, when posted, it's definitely a bit bigger. I don't know what to dislike about this pen, apart from the clip. The clip is too tight, but I mean, I can live with that. I rather have a clip that's too tight than a nib that's scratchy, and the nib is just great. So, fantastic nib, nice balance, because it is all metal, it's pleasant to use, Something that's nice is that you can actually remove the feet and the nib. They are friction fit, which makes cleaning very easy. Uh, it comes with a converter, which I like. I was unable to disassemble the converter, but whatever. You can just flush that out with a syringe. Great pen. Great pen. So, very pleased. Um, I think that's enough talk. I think it's time to move on to the writing sample. So I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the Italics Parsons Essential Fountain Pen, which, incidentally, is engraved with the word Steve Meister. That's just a bit of armless fun, right? Okay, so, unscrew the pen, do some writing. The nib here, you heard the scratch? That's, I'll, I'll come back to that. Um, the nib here is italic broad, and the ink is Mont Blanc toffee brown. This is one of the most amazing nibs I have ever used. Being an italic, it has a specific sweet spot, and if you hit that correctly, like this, there is no resistance on the paper. I have experienced this with very few nibs. I think the uh, the, the Platinum 3776 Music nib, uh, that had something like this, but it is amazing. That is just, you don't even feel you're touching the paper. It's amazing. Okay, now, if I angle that slightly incorrectly, then I get a scratch and no ink. Now this was, I was exaggerating it a bit there. But it's easy during your writing. See, now I get stuck in the paper. It writes, but it's not a nice line. Now, this is this has nothing to do with the, this nib. It's just that with an italic nib, this is what you get. You have a sweet spot, and you either hit it or you don't. And when you don't, you don't write. And if you do, then you have a fantastic nib. If you're lucky. And in this pen, you're lucky. So let's do some writing.
That was my fault, not the pen. Hmm, interesting. Guys, I can't tell you how smooth this writing experience is. It's it's really it's really amazing. So here we get some of the scratch and move up. Angle the pen a bit better. Scratch is gone entirely. Okay, let's do some fast writing, see how the feed keeps up. Just being fast, not being legible, no skipping, no skidding whatsoever. Very good sign. Okay, line variation. Well, this is not a flex nib. It will open up a bit under pressure, as you can see there. But, you know, because of the shape, you already get quite some line variation. You see the difference there? So, that's because it's an italic nib, right? It's uh, cut something like that, so it's, it's more flat on top. This is a very poor drawing, I'm sorry, but you, you probably get the point. Let's do some colouring. Nice, even patch of ink, nice shading, nice and wet, the way I like a nib. What more can I say? This is a fantastic pen. I'm, I'm astonished by the quality. So if you're looking for a pen that is not too expensive, but that performs really, really well, I would really consider this pen. So, I hope this was useful. Uh, I thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.